Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan. Welcome back to the Mr. Z's Music Lessons YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a piano tutorial over Waymaker by Leland. Be sure to check down in the description. Down there there's a link to a free chord chart you guys can check out. I also made a uh, cover video of me playing and singing through this whole song. So if you want to hear this piano part and uh, see it all the way through the whole song without any breaks or anything, um, be sure to watch that. I think that'll help you guys learn this one. And I did um, record this in the original key of E. If you need to lower it for your voice, you always could. I know I definitely should have. Um, singing this in the key of E is definitely way too high for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, just uh, don't uh, be too critical of my singing on that cover video. Um, so for the uh, intro of this, I'm going to go ahead and just play it for you, and then uh, I'll walk you guys through it. So here's what the intro sounds like. Okay, then to walk you guys through that, we'll just kind of do one hand at a time. Why don't we start with the left hand? So for our left hand on our A chord, we're going to play octave A's, and we'll hold this for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then our E chord, we'll play E and B for uh, four beats. One, two, three, four. Then on our B suspended chord, we're going to play B, F sharp, and B. And the rhythm of this uh, left hand thumb, we're going to go... So that rhythm counted out is one and two and three and four. And then on our C sharp minor chord, we're going to play C sharp and G sharp. And our rhythm here is one and two and three and four. And okay. then on the next A chord, we're back to octaves again. One, two, three, four. Then E and B for our E. Two, three, four. Then B, F sharp, and B. One and two and three. C sharp minor chord, we're going to play C sharp and G sharp again. We'll have one and two and three and four and. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and play through this just with the left hand, um, just without stopping so you guys can hear that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right hand. So we're going to start off playing E and G sharp. Then we'll play E and B. Then E and C sharp. And then E and C sharp again. Stay on E and C sharp. We're going to go back to E and B. And then E and G sharp. So, so far you have this. First little pattern for our A chord, and then on our E chord, we're going to play E, G sharp, and B. Do this twice, and we'll play just E by itself, and E and B, and E again, and E and F sharp. And we're kind of just following the uh, sort of the vocal melody that uh, comes in on verse one. Um, so again, that E chord, we're going to play E, G sharp, and B. sounds like. Then on our B suspended chord, we're going to play E and F sharp. Then again, we're going to play E and G sharp. Back to E and then C sharp. So our B suspended pattern is Then in our C sharp minor chord, we're going to play C sharp and E twice. And we kind of walk back up. Um, e, G sharp, B, E, and C sharp. Okay, so let me play so far what we have from the beginning to there for you. Sounds like this. Let me just 
repeat. sharp and E three times. Let me go ahead and play this uh, hands together one more time for you. One, two, three. That's it for our intro. Then next we'll go over verse one, and I'll just kind of go through this part um, hands separately first, and then we'll put it together. So um, we're going to start off on our A chord playing octave A's for four beats. One, two, three, four, then E and B. One, two, three, four octave B's for B suspended. Two, three, four C sharp minor, C sharp, and G sharp. This next A we'll play A, E, and A. Two, Four, then E and B. One, two, three, four octave Bs. One, two, three, four C sharp, G sharp. One, two, three, four back to A E A. One, two, three, four E and B. One, two, three, and four. And B F sharp and B. Two, three, four, then octave C sharps. Back to low A. C sharp, G sharp. Two, three, four. Okay, then our right hand for our A chord, we're going to play um, E and C sharp. Four beats. Then E and B for our E chord. B suspended, we're going to play E, F sharp, and B. C sharp minor, we're going to play C sharp, E, and B. Then A, we're going to go back to E and C sharp. E, we'll play E and B. E suspended, E, F sharp, and B again. Then in our C sharp minor, we're going to play E, G sharp, and B. Then we'll kind of walk back up again. Then E and C sharp. E, G sharp, and B. E, F sharp, and B. Then E, G sharp, and B. Then walk up again. And go through that verse um, hands together. One, two, three, four. And that's it for verse one. And you notice some of those fills were just kind of um, kind of following the vocal melody. And if you do watch that cover video, you'll notice um, that I played those rhythms slightly differently in that cover video. And that is because um, whenever I was recording the vocal part, I just didn't 
sing a lot of these rhythms very well. Um, so yeah, I'm, in this video though, I'm going to try to play all these rhythms exactly like the original live recorded version. Um, so yeah, if you notice some rhythmic differences, just kind of, you know, ignore those. But whenever you're playing this um, live at church or anything, just try to follow your vocalists, um, however they're singing that melody. Uh, that's it for verse one. All right, next we'll go over chorus one. And again, we'll just kind of do one hand at a time first, and then we'll put them together. And uh, keep in mind throughout a lot of this, um, what I'm doing with the left hand is just kind of how I played it. But feel free to make this your own if you want to make some changes to it. Uh, so again, I'm just going to play through this. Um, if I stop and talk about this too much, this video is going to be insanely long just because it's such a long song. Um, so anyways, we'll start on the octave A's. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand, we're going to play um, E and B for our A chord. Playing quarter notes. Same thing for our E chord. And F sharp. kind of walking back up again following that vocal melody then uh, hands together here's what it sounds like one two three four That's it for verse one, or sorry, chorus one. Next up, we'll go over verse two, and uh, for this part, I'll do one hand at a time again. And uh, the left hand is going to be a little bit busier here with the kind of the rhythms that we're playing. So um, we're going to repeat a lot of notes with our left hand thumb. So just watch out for that. Starting on octave A's again. One, two, three, four. One. So that last little part there, we're building, and I meant to hold this low A down here, but so from that uh, last time through the progression, we'll go one and two and three, and just repeating that thumb. So that just kind of builds us into the chorus. Uh, then for the uh, right hand, I'm going to start on the little kind of pickup to that verse. Uh, so we're just following the vocal melody here. Um, this part's a little bit confusing, but it's kind of similar to the intro. Uh, so here's what it sounds like. We'll stay on E and C sharp. E, G sharp, and B.
ahead and go through this hands together. One, two, three. So um, that's it for verse two. And again, in that right hand, we're just kind of following our vocal melody. That left hand, feel free to do what I did, or you can kind of make that your own, um, just whatever you want to do there. That's it for verse two. And next, we'll go over a chorus two. And it's pretty similar to the first time that we went through the chorus. Just uh, it's a lot busier in the left hand, especially. Um, so I'm just going to play through kind of one hand at a time, starting with our left hand. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. play through just the right hand one time for you. One, two, three, four. had some octaves in there kind of following our vocal melody and then we'll go ahead and do this hands together one two three four That's it for chorus two, and feel free to watch that as many times as you need to to kind of figure out exactly what I'm doing. 
And again, feel free to make that uh, left hand your own. Um, I would do the right hand, though, pretty similar to what I played. So that's it for that part. Next, we'll go over refrain one, and this is where he sings That Is Who You Are kind of over and over again. This part's pretty straightforward. Um, the left hand, we're just doing octaves and then kind of eighth notes with our left hand thumb following the chord progression. So for the A chord, we have... Over G sharp, we're going to go to octave uh, G sharps. Back to octave A's. G sharps. E, F sharp, and B. C sharp, and G sharp. Right hand, we're going to play pretty much octaves all the way through this, just kind of following that vocal melody. So we'll start on octave C sharps, do that for one measure. We're going to go down to octave Bs. And to follow our vocal melody, we're going to go E, F sharp, G sharp, and then E, and F sharp. And E, F sharp, G sharp, E, and C sharps. time I'll just kind of play it without stopping. Ready, go. and do that hands together for you guys one time. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. That's it for refrain one. Then we'll go over chorus three. This part's very simple. We'll just kind of go through it hands together. Uh, we're just going to move up a little bit higher on the piano here. Um, so for our A chord, we're going to move up to A, E, and A. So instead of way down here, we're going to be up an octave higher than that. So starting with that, we have one, two, three. For then for our E chord, we'll play E, B, and E for four beats, then B and F sharp for four beats. One, two, three. For then C sharp and G sharp for four beats. Then we'll go back to A and E. One, two, three, four, E, B, E. One, two, three, four, then down to octave Bs. One, two, three, four, then octave C sharps. One, two, three, four. And our right hand, again, we're going to move up here too. So we're going to have E and B for our A chord. We have one, two, three, four. For our E chord, we're going to play E, or, or sorry, B and E. One, two, Three, four. For B suspended, we're going to play B, D sharp, and E. One, two, three, four. And for our C sharp minor, we're going to play um, B and E. One, two, three. Then back to B and D sharp. Then for the next time through the progression, we're going to play A, C sharp, and E. For our A chord, we'll do that twice. One, two, three. Then B and E. Four. And we're going to do G sharp, B, and E for our E chord. One, two, three, four. Then for B suspended, we're just going to move that thumb down to an F sharp. One, two, three, four. C sharp minor, we're just going to bring the thumb back up to G sharp. One, two, three, four. Okay, then hands together. One, two, three, four.
And that's it for course three. Next up, we'll go over the bridge, and this part is very straightforward, so I'm just going to go ahead and play through this hands together for you guys. Starting on that low octave A in our left hand, and then E and B in the right hand. One, two, three, four. That's it for the bridge. Then the fourth time we go through the chorus, it's a, little, a lot busier in both the left hand and the right hand. Uh, the left hand's pretty simple. We're, again, we're just doing those octaves and then just kind of repeating that um, higher octave with the left hand thumb, eighth notes. So I won't go over that uh, separately, but then in the left hand, or right hand, sorry, I don't know my left from my right. Um, <laughs> so in the right hand, um, I'll go through that pretty in depth with you guys. So we're gonna play B, E, and B. <clears throat> we'll do this four times. for our A chord, and then once we get to the E chord, we'll do this same thing uh, three more times. We'll go one, two, three, and this little fill, we're going to just follow the vocal melody. We'll go E, F sharp, and then uh, we're going to play B, E, and G sharp, and then back to E. So that E chord pattern will have, okay, and then once we get to our B suspended, we're going to play B, F sharp, and B above it. We'll do this uh, three times, or two times, sorry. And we'll go back to B, E, and B, and up to F sharp, then B, E, and G sharp, and back to E. So our B suspended pattern is then on C sharp minor, we're going to play C sharp, E, and B, uh, just for that whole measure. Playing quarter notes. Then for our A chord, just stay in the same spot again, C sharp, E, and B. We're going to drop that thumb down to a B. Same thing we did last time. Okay, then this next little fill, we're going to do C sharp, E, and B, then F sharp. We're going to play C sharp, E, G sharp, and B all at the same time, and then back to E. So before we do this hands together, let me just run through the whole chorus four with the right hand by itself. Ready, go. hands together. Ready, go. That's it for chorus four. Then refrain two is very similar to what I just showed you on the uh, fourth chorus, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play through this one time for you guys. Again, we have the low octave A's, starting out on C sharp, E, and B in the right hand. Here we go, ready, go. Just have G sharp there in the left hand. That's what we 
refrain two sounds like. Then for the fifth chorus, um, well, I'll just kind of play through that one time, just hand separately. So our left hand starting out on uh, octaves, we're just kind of mellowing out here a little bit. Um, so we're just going to hold these out uh, for four beats each. One, two, three. We're down to octave E's. One, two, three. Four octave B's. One, two, three. Four octave C sharps. One, two, three. Four back to A's. One, two, three. Four E and B. One, two, three. Four octave B's. One, two, three. Four octave C sharps. Then the right hand, we're going to start off on E and B. And uh, here's our rhythm. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So add F sharp for B suspended. Two, three, four. Back to E and B. Okay, let me go over that little fill right there real quick. So we're going to play E and B twice. And then D sharp and B twice. And then C sharp and B once. And then we'll go to uh, C sharp, E, and B. And we'll keep on going. Two, three, four. Then we'll go back to our lower octave. Okay, then this next part, we're going to go E, B, and E. We'll do that once. Then we'll just uh, go down to D sharp here on top. Back to E. Let me play through this right hand by itself one time, and then we'll uh, go through that hands together uh, just without stopping this time. Ready, go. Both hands sound like this. That's it for chorus five. Next up, we'll go over the instrumental, or this is kind of like that spontaneous section um, that everybody's probably going to do a little bit differently. Um, but uh, here is what the left hand part sounds like, and then we'll kind of add the right hand into it here in just a minute. So the left hand goes like this. And the right hand, we'll spend a little bit more time on. Uh, so we're going to do E, C sharp, and E. We'll do this four times. For our A chord. And for our E chord, we're just going to drop that middle note down to a B. Two, three, four. And for B suspended, we're going to play F sharp, B, D sharp, and E. We'll do this uh, three times. So I have one, two, three, four. Then on C sharp minor, we're going to drop that thumb down to an E. We'll do this uh, twice. We have a little fill. We'll play this E up here with the pinky. Then back to our E, B, and E. Then we'll play D sharp. And then E, B, and D sharp. And then C sharp. So this fill will have. And then this next chord, we're going to play E, A, C sharp, and E for our A chord. We'll do this uh, once. <laughs> and then we'll just leave out the A on the rest of them. E, B, and E. B suspended, same thing we did earlier. And C sharp minor, E, B, and E. So let me play through this instrumental part just with the right hand by itself one time without stopping. Here we go. Ready, go.
go ahead and do that. Hands together. One, two, three, four. That's it for the instrumental. And the last part of the song, refrain three, let's go ahead and go over that. Uh, starting with the left hand first, we're playing octave A's. G sharp. hand will mostly just be playing chords um, so for our a chord we're going to start off on b e and b sounds like this same thing for e over g sharp and for our b suspended chord we're just going to add f sharp to that back to b e and b okay then we're going to go down an octave to e and b then we'll play e b and e Uh, C sharp minor chord will play E, G sharp, and E. We'll do that three times. Okay, and then we're just going to do E, D sharp, and E together. And then we'll do E, C sharp, and E. Let's go ahead and try this part hands together. One, two, three. Okay, guys, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this tutorial. Even though the song seems like really simple on the surface as far as it's just kind of the same four chords through the whole song, um, if you really kind of listen to that piano part, there's really a lot going on. Um, so, you know, just kind of take what you guys want from this video. You know, you don't necessarily have to play all the parts exactly like that, but uh, I just tried to figure it out as close as I could, and uh, then you guys can kind of take it from there and decide what you want to do with it. Um, you know, which of these parts you want to really worry about and uh, which ones you may just kind of want to make your own. All right, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, you can subscribe if you're not already. Go down in the comments, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video, and of course, let me know if you guys have any questions too. And for any of you um, people that have watched all the way to the end of this, um, I do have uh, just kind of some exciting news coming up, uh, hopefully in January 2020. So um, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting kind of having like a diagram of the keyboard with the, where the keys light up. Um, that way you can see what I'm playing a little bit better. So I'm currently in the process of getting the gear that I need to get that rolling. Um, you know, I kind of had to research a little bit to figure out how to do that. Um, so yeah, getting some gear here very soon. Hopefully in January I'll have that rolling out for you guys where you can see what notes I'm playing. Really excited about that because um, I know if I was learning from videos like this, which I do, you know, sometimes, um, it would help me a lot to be able to just see those uh, light up keys. I always like it whenever they're up there. It makes it easier to see what you're playing. So very excited about that. It's going to be coming soon. Uh, also, I'm trying to aim for 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. It's going to really come down to the wire. Don't know if I'll make it or not, but uh, if you want to help me reach that goal, just feel free to subscribe. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully that helps you with this song, and I'll see you guys in the next one.